Good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing? How is everyone doing? <laughs> happy new month, happy November for those who gonna hear this message on this very first day of November. I greet you all in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. I know we are happy to have been graced to see another month, uh, even another day. Because <laughs> now things are day by day, right? Glory to God. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for this very hour. Thank you for your love. Thank you for uh, enabling us to get to this wonderful new month. We love you, Lord, and may your will be done in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. So this is your sister again, and I'm coming today uh, to the very program, 15 minutes daily. You are here. All right. Um, we're going to talk about Daniel. We're going to talk about Daniel. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. And uh, Daniel has a book, by the way, by his name. So we're going to go Daniel chapter 6. Daniel chapter 6, we're going to, you know, go around there according to the way the Lord will lead us. Um, I do believe you are really holding on onto your routine. You're holding on onto your routine. I thank God he has graced me. I was, uh, you know, I was very, very busy uh, and I couldn't come here, but I did my part. I did my study because we need to eat this food daily. Yes, yes. So... Uh, for those who really long, longed to see me here, I'm here, I'm back, and let's indulge ourselves with this spiritual food, the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. So let's go ahead and start reading from verse, um, let me see, verse 22, and then we're going to go about and around uh, and, and complete the, the very thought the Lord has for us. You know, uh, Daniel, as we know, he was in exile. He was um, kind of slave, but God used the slave to bring his name even in that country, in that place where they didn't know God. So um, uh, this message being the first message of the month, at least to me, it is an indication or it's a reminder that no matter where we are, no matter where we are, are we free or not free? You know, are we bound or are we free? Are we sick or are we healed? Are we poor or are we rich? Wherever we are, whatever situation we find ourselves into, may God use us. God's will prevail. May he use us to manifest you know, the, his will that he is a supreme, his kingdom is forever and ever. So Daniel, you know, was one of those who didn't care where they were, who didn't care their situation. They were so focused. They were so fearful of the Lord. And to lose his favor was like, uh, no, 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 no. They are not, they were, start, so, you know, why I say they, they were have other three, three, uh, Three uh, friends of him, uh, I remember, let me read their name, Meshach, Abednego, and Shadrach. So there were three bo Hebrew boys. There were three or four. <laughs> there were three. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so let's learn about this one of them, which is Daniel. They stood the ground, and God used them mightily. Hallelujah. So let's go ahead and do verse 23. And I will, again, as I said, go around and about to make sure we complete we complete what we are having it today. Again, it's the first day of the month for, for some of us. But if you hear this in a replay, then it will be, you know, I don't know which day you're going to be listening. But as of today, may we have this in mind that God loves us and God is really in need of us so that we can showcase his will it doesn't matter where we are you hear me with it doesn't matter where we are it doesn't matter the situation surrounding us we have to know that we are God's vessel carrying his glory carrying his 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 mandate 
everywhere we go day night hungry full naked clothed i mean under the shelter out of the shelter wherever we are sorrowful or happy we have to have this mind that we are where we are because we need to 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 carry on with the god the 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 the, the uh, the will of the Lord. So let's listen to this one. Daniel had incredible favor with the king. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So let's go ahead and read why he was he was not consumed by the, the lions in the den. This is chapter 6. It talks about lion when they threw Daniel, uh, when Daniel was put in the lion den where the lions were being trained to to chew people alive <laughs> oof i mean yeah they were they, that, that place there was prepared for the rebellious who who don't obey the king who don't obey the the, the command okay the command of this uh uh, uh country uh, uh uh government they were supposed to be taken over there so he happened to go there why because he said <laughs> I have one God to obey, and only him I will bow down. Any other? Mm -mm. So he stood his ground, and look what happened. Hallelujah. 22, it says like this. Daniel answered the king. So we're going to start there and go why he answered and all that. So Daniel answered the king, said, May the king live forever. So you can imagine. When I was really getting this, it was like why he had to bless the, the very person who who caused him to be put on, 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 on the lion den, to be put over there. Uh, I came to learn something and I will open it later as I, I move on. So Daniel was like, okay, um, the morning came. He was well and alive, and uh, and king came, king came and started seeking for him. And the king said, "Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve, continually be able to rescue you from the lions?" So he's asking. <laughs> We're gonna know how it it went before that. And 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 Daniel goes, uh, "May the king live forever, my God." Okay, my God sent his angel and shut the mouth of the lions. They have no heart. Okay, they, they have not hurt me because I was found innocent. That's the key. I was found innocent in his sight. Which sight? The sight of who? The sight of God. He may be found innocent in the sight of people, you know, human being, but he was saying, in the sight of my king, my God, I was found innocent. Welcome, everybody. I was found very innocent, and thank you for joining. It's, it's going to be good. Just hang in there. I was found innocent. <laughs> so that's the key for us this month. Be found innocent. At workplace, be found innocent. For some of us, we are forced to take things we don't want to take, especially this time of COVID. Okay, you know what I mean. We are forced to do things we ourselves don't want. But may we be found innocent even when we obey them. <clears throat> Hallelujah. So listen to this one. He goes, um, yes, you live forever, king. My God sent his angel <laughs> and shut the mouth of the lions. They have no heart because I was found innocent in his sight, nor have I ever done any wrong before you, my majesty. These people were friends. <laughs> so listen. So when I was thinking, I was like, hmm. And 23, he goes, the king was overjoyed. And this way now, it triggered me to know this one here. I don't know. I'm like the same king who authorized them to put this person in there. And he is overjoyed because he's alive. Which kind of a king he is happy when his decree is not being honored or when his decree fails? Think with me a little bit there. The person, the king, was overjoyed. And listen, the very king who, you know, had the people push him in there, he 
again, he didn't sleep, we are told. We're going to read. He didn't sleep. He didn't eat. He fasted all night. And this is a king. What kind of an enemy will be, you know, going without feeling sorry for you? I do believe God used this king to showcase his glory, as we will see. So the king was overjoyed and gave order to lift Daniel out of the den. Another order. Hmm. I think this one was good. And when Daniel was lifted from the den, no wound was found in him because he had trusted in his God. <laughs> he has trusted in his God and the God who he trusted, he took good care of him. And the, the, the Bible tells us that there was no wound, just like they were thrown in the fire furnace. They didn't even smell fire. They didn't smell nothing. So the same God who helped, I mean, the God of Daniel, may he be your God today. May he be your defender. May he send angels to shut down the mouth of those enemies, especially those people who don't sleep and chanting and chanting and, and sending spells towards your family, sending uh, curse words towards your, your work, your health. You know, they are speaking evil. May they be shot this month. In Jesus' name. We are serving the same God of Daniel. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If he helped Daniel, he's going to help us. But the key is stay innocent. And if you are not innocent, repent. And God will forgive and will throw that wrong, whatever you did, far away, and he won't even remember. So as we consider ourselves innocent, and really we should be, innocent God will do all under his power to secure us so shut the mouth of the lions hallelujah so listen so what I was looking and wondering hmm this this king what happened so I went I went back to verse verse um let me see verse 12 verse 10 let's start there why this king was happy when the, 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 his decree was not honored? You know, the, Daniel was alive by morning. What happened? Here we come. Here we come. And look at, look at this. And not just all morning. I mean, those lions were many. And this was only one person. They could have teared him apart within seconds. Why I say that? Because, look, after Daniel was removed of the lion den, a King Darius wrote to, uh, let me see, uh-huh, 24, okay, 24, at the king's command, the very king who was happy that Daniel was alive, at the king's command, the man who has falsely accused Daniel were brought in and thrown in the lion den, and not one, there were many, and not just those those people who accused Daniel, but with their wives and their children. So they were not just one person like Daniel was. They were many. I don't know how many, but I mean, they were a group. And this group was not just those people, the, the elder who, you know, were on those offices. They came with their wives and with their, had more than one child. So listen, so he said like this, uh, uh, I'm 24 now. I'm going back and forth, as I said. At the king's command, the man, uh, the man who was falsely accused Daniel were brought in and thrown into the lion den along with their wives and their children. And before they reached the floor of the den, Before, this, this is a group of people who have been escorted towards the den, towards this place to be, yeah, instead of that, Daniel. Before they hit the floor of the den, the lion overpowered them. I mean, the lion jumped over them. In other words, welcome everybody and thank you for being here. Just hang around. You're going to be blessed. And he says, the Bible. I love the word of the Lord. And this is in front of the king. And, the, and I do believe David was also nearby. So before they hit the floor, 
the lions uh, overpowered. I mean, they were so hungry. Over this is God do in the, these lions, and I mean, pushing the lions to go jump over the people. And what happened? They say the lions crushed all of them, crushed even their bones. Nothing was left. And remember, before they enter the place, the lions had to jump over them. Now they're jumping over their father, the, the, the male and the female and the little kids. Oh, sorry for the innocent. So may the God of Daniel fight for you. May the God of Daniel fight for you. <laughs> I mean, just, just have this have this cinema, if I can use my African word. Have this video. Have this moment in the uh, 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 in a, in a, in over whatever, just in a movie theater. Just have this picture that here they come, a group of them, and they come <laughs> crying or whatever. I mean, they were maybe hesitating, and they, you know, because when you are supposed to be pushed on a fire on some, you, you know, you know, you're gonna be consumed. I think you're gonna be backing up and kind of fighting to get in. You're not gonna just jump there and go hallelujah quickly. I think they were resisting. Now, because they were resisting, maybe it took a few minutes in that resistance. The lions came out jumping over them. The Bible tells me it overcame the lions over overpowered them and crushed them all. The leaders, the wives, and their children. And they, are, they, they were over. They were finished. So I was saying, can you imagine the God of Daniel? Daniel was only one. And it didn't take, uh, it took the whole night for the lions to change their mind to start consuming him. But they didn't. They had Daniel all through the night. They had Daniel all through the night. You may say maybe because when he was got in there, they were maybe full or they just didn't feel like eating or they were like tired and slumber. I mean, maybe hour one, hour two, hour three. I mean, it was 12 hours. The lions were not minding anything to harm Daniel. Why? Daniel confessed, say, my God, send an angel and shut the mouth of lions. They couldn't open. They couldn't feel hungry. I mean, they were zipped up. By who? By God. And the same God, welcome Susan, the same God, welcome Caleb, hallelujah, the same God who zipped the mouth of the lions during Daniel's session, he is the same, I do believe, empowered the lions to consume them when it was their turn. So this November, rely on the God of Daniel. Let the God of Daniel be your God. And make sure, as I said earlier, be innocent. Because that's what the confession Daniel said. He said, my king live forever. My God send, send his angel, verse 21. Of Daniel 6 21 my God sent the angel and shut the mouth of the lions okay they have no heart because I was found innocent and found innocent where in the in his sight this is his is uppercase H the sight of God okay and I didn't do any wrong to you neither you my majesty I didn't wrong you and the king, and I was like, hmm, <laughs> this is a law. The king authorized, go with me here. The king authorized everybody to worship his, the God of Medes, you know, the God of this king, you know, this pagan. And he was in a, he was a presiding king at the time. Now, wonder with me here. Think with me here. He he comes here. He says, "I didn't, I didn't wrong you either, <laughs> Susan. Is this true? <laughs> I didn't wrong you either. You didn't wrong me either. You didn't bow down on that thing I I commanded you, and you tell me you didn't wrong me." <laughs> 
He said, yeah, I did it. I did, I did it wrong. So I, as I was thinking, as I was pondering on this, I came to, 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 to realize that King was really, King's heart was really not for, for, for Daniel to, to be heart, for Daniel to, to go through that, whatever that. The king himself, his heart was not to even have this go on. You know why I say that? Come with me over here on verse uh, verse 12 uh, C. It said, the king answered, the decree stand is in accordance with the law of Medes and the Persians, which cannot be replaced. He said, this law here, the one Daniel is breaking, is not mine as a king. Is for the <laughs> is in accordance, not is accordance with me, accordance with the law of the Medes and the Persian. I'm just here as a king. My will is just not even there. I didn't I wasn't there even when when, when they were making this law. I'm just saying. Because Daniel, I love the word, Daniel was like, I didn't wrong you and I was innocent in the sight of the Lord. So my God, I was innocent in the sight of the Lord and also I didn't wrong you. And that's where I was back, backing up. I went back a little bit. You didn't wrong the king. Why? Because you were supposed to obey what the king commanded. And now when I came here, the king himself said, this very law is for the Persians and the Medes. He just didn't say that I'm just, even I don't like it either myself. He just didn't verbalize that. But in his heart and Daniel's heart, they, they knew they were buddies. I mean, they were together in this. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Somebody, do you get what I'm getting? Please let me know if you are enjoying what, how, the way I'm enjoying right here. So listen, <clears throat> Sometimes we're in the companies, we're in the places, I mean, we are under the leaders. And those leaders, maybe they're, they're, they're just for work, just like we are. They just have to push whatever that is being put at their table. They're leaders, yes, but their heart is not really to obey whatever that is. They just do because they, they need to protect their own office, their own work. They, need, they have families to feed and they, <laughs> they have to just do what, I mean, their, their heart is not there. This is what was happening with Daniel. May God bring leaders and people who will defend you secretly. Oh, hallelujah, glory. May they defend you secretly. You know what? I believe in that. It can happen. It can happen. And it happened to Daniel. Because the God we serve looks down in our heart. Not what we, 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 we pretend doing. Or what, not what we, we show on the outside down deep in our heart. He honors what is in there. So the king didn't, his heart was to save Daniel. And we see that, let's see, on, on verse 13. It say, then they said to the king, Daniel, who is one of the exiles from Judah, pays no attention to you, king, majesty, or to the decree you put in writing. He still prays, prays three times a day. When the king heard this, he was greatly distressed. Not that Daniel is going against his, his whatever, but he was distressed to see the, the law of the Madis and the passion going to come against him. But his heart was distressed. Why? He was distressed because he was determined to rescue Daniel. He was determined to rescue Daniel and he made every effort until sundown to save him. You tell me this <laughs> is somebody who was really and for the passion for the passion in the Medes law? I don't think so. If he was for the Medes and the Passion law to, to make that the, the king you know, go, uh, die, I don't think he would be so joyous when he was, in the morning, he was still awake. He could have not even authorized the other group to be thrown there, them and their wives and their kids. If he was really against that David, oh, king of glory, I love you, Jesus, I do. 
I mean, let this month bring people who will defend your case, even secretly, right in their heart. May God help you to discern who is for you and who is against you. Because sometimes we're in the places, because people are doing things just because they're doing, let us now conclude that they are against us. Yes, Susan, all night he didn't sleep and he fasted. And here we say here in verse 13, he was determined to rescue Daniel. So this law here, as we, we, we read verse, verse, verse 12, see, he, he said himself, he said, you know what? Decrees stands in accordance to the law of Madis and the passion. I'm here just because I'm just here for, for, the, for the work. Hallelujah. So listen, we must be innocent to have the God of Daniel to defend us. So the, the king was not siding with the Medes gods and the law for the passions. He sided with the God, the God of Daniel. That's why he said here he was determined to rescue Daniel and made effort until sundown. Then the men went as a group to the king of Darius and said to him, Remember, your majesty, that according to the law of the Medes, not according to the heart feeling of the king, Okay, and the, and the passion, no decree or edict that the king issued can be changed. So the king gave the order and they brought Daniel and threw him in the lion den. The king said to Daniel, remember now, his heart is not for Daniel to die at all. And now he, 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 he adds the, the decree of his mouth. Now he, he's decreeing now together with the what is in, your, in his heart that's already powerful and now the words as a king also. In, 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 <laughs> listen to this one. Now leave alone what is, is in his heart. Now it's coming again now that which comes from his mouth. He goes, he said like this, the king now said, so the king gave the order, go ahead and do whatever. But at the end of the day, the king said, may you are God. May your God, who you serve, continually rescue you. Not once, continually rescue. Now, this is the king. He is verbalizing. And not only the king, we also have power in our tongue. The Bible tells us we have power in our tongue. So when we speak in line with what is in our heart, we are surely going to see it manifest. So with the God of Daniel, I mean, as I said, some of us here, we are going through tough times. We think our leaders who or our managers who need to be on our side, we think they are, they are leaning against us sometimes. We think they are, just go ahead and pray three times, my dear. Go ahead and be prayerful. God will cause their heart, whoever you think they're against you, they will cause one or two. He, yeah, he just, just needs sometimes one person to be for you in the heart. And privately, they are decreeing what they needed to decree on your favor. This king, I mean, he didn't sleep. As, a, as a Susan just said earlier, he didn't sleep. And he, he, he went ahead and fasted. So what was he doing all night long? He had a night vigil. He had a prayer all night. Decreeing as a king. As a king speaking words for the favor of Daniel. And here you come, you say, you know what? <laughs> I don't think that boss is, is, is on my side. I don't think that land manager is on my side. I don't think, just go ahead and be innocent and pray. And be innocent also before the, the king. Because before those people, the managers, the, 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 those who, whatever you think they're going against you, be innocent to them and be innocent to God. Be innocent all around. Be, otherwise, God won't shut their mouth. We need to be innocent this month so we can see people who we thought are our enemy. God can turn their hearts around and be for our favor. They may not showcase because sometimes they are ashamed. Sometimes they are fearful. Sometimes they think they offended us so much. They hurt us so deeply. And they just, you know, 
are unable to come and, and face you face to face and tell you what they have in their heart. But believe the God of Daniel who can use those who are to be against you to not be against you. Instead, to pray secretly for your favor. To pray secretly for, their favor, for, for your favor. So I think I'm going to end there. What else was good here? Hallelujah. Yeah, that, uh, and, and, and I mean, this was wonderful. So when, when Daniel said, I didn't wrong you, neither God, I was innocent. This is what it was. He was in line with the, the, the heart of the king. The heart of the king was wanting, you know, Daniel to be saved. And the same Daniel was praying, you know what? Uh, uh, my God will rescue me one more time. He will. Yeah, he will rescue me one more time. So may God be with you. I don't want to prolong the time, but I do believe you go read this Daniel chapter six and make it you are you are you are landing 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 verse or landing chapter for 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 your difficulty time when you find people are coming against you or you feel that they are not on your side or you feel difficulties here and there. God will send someone secretly or openly will be on your side, my. Sister sister, my brother, God of the God of Daniel, he is still our God, especially in such time as this, the, the, oh my goodness, trouble everywhere. And especially those who speak a negative against us, who, who, who want our fall, who want us to be eradicated from this earth, who want us dead, who prepare our casket, who prepare our tomb, who prepare our morning sessions. I mean, who prepare a whole lot against us. May the God of Daniel prepare also his army to come for your rescue in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. The key word is be innocent. Be innocent. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for you are preparing a table before our enemies. We thank you, Father God, and uh, we bless your name, O oh Lord, because you are our cornerstone. Just like the stone which was placed in the, in the mouth of the lion den, I do believe that stone was Jesus. And that very stone was there to stand, hallelujah, to protect Daniel. They thought they are closing Daniel in, but they really brought the, 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 the rock of ages upon which Daniel stood. The truth upon which Daniel stood. And lo and behold, after 12 or so many hours after that, he was still alive. But lo and behold, the very enemies, they couldn't even get a chance to, to land to the, to, the, to the den itself. They were consumed right before even they hit the den. Father, we bless you because we're going to witness our enemies being, being defeated this month. We're going to witness our enemies be, be, come to us in repentance. We're going to witness, hallelujah, a change. We're going to witness last coming back to us. We're going to witness, hallelujah, the desire we have been having hallelujah come to fruition oh we're going to glorify your name in this very month we thank you father holy spirit be with us angels be with us the word of the lord continue taking residence in and through us in jesus mighty name hallelujah and amen this is Ando from 15 Minutes Daily, and we will be talking again very soon continue the routine continue and i give you this is very assignment. Be innocent. Be innocent. And pray, 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 pray. If there's nobody else on your side, Daniel prayed three times a day. That's why we see there's good results. That's why we see we, we see everything worked for, for, for his favor. Sometimes we are lazy, we don't do our part. I was I was teaching yesterday on our church service. We ought to do our part. We ought to do our part. We are in a covenant of God. God will do his part. We have to do our part. Otherwise, that covenant won't. We, God is going to, you know, we always being going to be the liars. The word of the Lord will never be considered a liar or lies. It's always going to stand unless we don't do our part. If we don't do our part, no one to blame but us. I pray that you go ahead and enjoy the new month. Let the past be gone. And know that as you repent, you're going to be innocent. God bless and bye-bye for today.